Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mark, and I had a friend named Greg in the group who asked me how to adjust the uh, the different frame files that I've made, or, or I've got some files out there that have frames in them that people have wanted to use the frames in other things, and they've discovered that when they resize them or stretch them, they no longer work correctly. And the reason is because the corners are 45 degrees, and when you stretch those, that those degrees change and it no longer works. So I wanted to make a quick video just to show you how to make these for yourselves because I thought it'd be a lot easier than just adjusting mine if you want to make your own. I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator, but the principle is the same in all of them. Uh, but Greg, this is for you, and if it helps anybody else, that's awesome as well. So let's look at Illustrator, and I'll show you how I do this. So I'm going to probably use uh, half-inch rectangles for this, but you can use whatever thickness you want for your frames. So the first thing I'm going to do is just draw out a rectangle. The length should be whatever length you want the top and bottom, in this case, the top and bottom frame pieces to be, and then we'll do the two sides as well. I'm going to draw out a random rectangle there, go up to Transform, and I'm going to type in the width. I'll just say it's 8 inches, and I'll say the height is 0.5, okay, just like that. And there are several ways to do what I'm going to show you here. This is just one of the easy ways I know how to do it. I'm going to always go to outline mode because I feel like uh, going to outline mode and not seeing the thickness of the stroke helps me make things a little more accurately. So on a Mac, that's command Y. So I'm just in outline mode. I'm going to zoom in so I can see this side of this piece clearly. And then I'm going to draw out a square by holding down shift. And I'm going to draw out a pretty big square, something like that. And then... Sorry, and then I'm going to rotate it by holding down shift again and rotating until I get to 45 degrees. And this is the shape I'm going to use to uh, cut the corners to be 45 degrees. So I'm going to copy this shape to my clipboard. And then I'm going to move this up here. And all I got to do now is line this up with the top corner right there of this piece, just like that. I like that. Okay, and then I'm going to select the rectangle and the square and go to Pathfinder minus front. And there I've cut it at a 45 degree angle just like that. Do the same thing, paste my square back, bring this one back over here. And line it up just like that. Select these two, Pathfinder minus front, and there we go. And so now we've got the top and bottom done. I'm going to just uh, hold down Option and drag this so I've got two of them. And then all I've got to do for the other ones, if it's a square, then we're done because we've got these four already done. And if it's going to be a rectangle of some sort, then, of course, I can just draw out the other side, go to Transform, make it, let's say it's 4 inches by uh, 0.5. And then we just do the exact same thing by pasting the, whoops, by pasting the square back in, lining it back up again with the corners and uh, you've got your 45 degrees and that's all it takes to make these just like this. In fact, I'll go ahead and just do these. Whoops, sorry, again, I keep clicking the wrong thing, my bad. That's what happens when you get in a hurry. Paste my square back in, line these up on the corners, select Pathfinder minus front, and then we've got that. And then I can option, I can select this and option drag and do that. And then now just to show you that it's going to line up correctly, I can rotate these, hold down shift, and grab this one, take it over here, and we've got perfect corners just like that. Of course, you obviously see where this is going, just like that. And then you got the bottom one, which I will flip all the way around, like this. And then you've got your frame and you can do this for whatever size you want and that was just a couple minutes and it was slower because I was talking through it but that's how you make your angled frame pieces I hope that helps let me know if you have any questions and as always I'd love to see what you guys make with these have a good one I'll see you in the group